Oh, it's finally here. Welcome to Softball Sunday, everybody, which is a great day. A good day. <laughs> That's the whole joke. Was it good and good? To learn good. Thank you for the suggestion, Doug. You're gonna need a G. A D. An E minor. And a magical chord called C7. C7 is regular old C plus your pinky finger on the G string third fret. G. D. E minor. C7. For the intro. The verse is just bass guitar, but the guitar guitar chimes in every other C7. So if you want to be a smarty pants, you can do this. Which is just the bass notes on the guitar, right? The E string third fret is G. The A string fifth fret is D. The open E string is of course E. And then on the C, the bass goes C, 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 B, or 3, 3, 3, 2 on the A string. So... The second time, you hit one C note with your ring finger so that you can slide into that C7 chord. You can do that if you want, or you can just, you know, play the chords nice and easy. know the chorus it's the same as everything we've done so far G D E minor C7 even when he says good 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 after that chorus it's the same chords but he plays them in a higher register so if you want to do them just down here as we have been given it softball Sunday be my guest but if you want to do it up here here's what you do take your regular old familiar D shape and move it up to frets seven and eight that's the first one the second one is E5, B7, G7. The third one is from E to G, 7, 8, 9. And the fourth one is very similar, 8, 8, 9. It's like most of your baby F shape. But all these shapes here are just on the E, B, and G strings. Give it three chunky strum things. And then on the fourth beat, you hit your chord. So... this thing. I love this thing. You're thinking about your baby F shape, but two frets higher. So three, three, four, five. We're going to start on the middle finger, the G string fourth fret, and go four, five, four, down to D5. One more D5, and then back to the G string. Four, five, four, five. And then your pointer finger takes care of those guys, the E and B strings on the third fret. So you see, even though that's the shape, you don't really have all your fingers down the whole time. At the end of the next chorus, going into the solo, we have a key change, which is not a very softball Sunday thing to do, but as far as key changes go, this is a pretty easy one to grasp. We're moving one whole step higher, so whatever our first chord was, it was G, we're gonna go two frets higher in our head, G sharp, A. Our first chord for the key change solo section is A. Our previous second chord was D, which I'm thinking in my head is the A string fifth fret. That's a D note, and I move up two frets and get E. So second chord of the new key is E. The old third chord was E minor, which two frets higher is F sharp minor. That's two, four, four. But if you're allergic to bar chords on a softball Sunday, just play the power chord. That's fine. And the old last chord was C7, one whole step higher than C is D, so play a D. I believe it's a regular D, not a D7, but here we go. A, E, F sharp minor, D. Which goes nicely into the old key for the last big chorus. that's it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff, unless I listen just right now and there's there's more that I forgot. <laughs> Goodbye. No, that's it. But I do have an evolution bell comment for you today. Hoorah, the evolution bell. 
the bell that strikes back. Today's evolution bell comment comes from, I rearranged in my teleprompters over here right now, please forgive me, Mr. I and E who on my My Hero Acoustic video, which I thought I did a really good job on, I'm really proud of that effort, says, bro, it looks so fake. <laughs> I think he thinks I wasn't actually playing the guitar. Thank you, Mr. I and E for your comment. Thank you all for hanging out. Goodbye.